Hey everyone, it is Travis Lima here with another Paid Memberships Pro guided video. And in today's video, I want to speak a little bit about WooCommerce. Now, some of you may know that we have a relatively popular article on our site called Use WooCommerce to Sell Memberships with Your Payment Gateway of Choice. Now, we get a fair number of questions regarding this article and exactly how to do this with WooCommerce. So I thought I would just quickly run through a couple of ways or not, or not a couple of ways, but I'll basically show you how to set this up. And then you might have a little bit of a better idea of how this works. So if I go over here, um, I am running my must love dogs staging site. It's a staging site like I said so it is not live it's just on my machine and I'm running it over here using local by flywheel and as you can see I already have a very bare bone kind of WooCommerce shop and I've even got the WooCommerce demo content that I've installed on my site so this is just to give you an example of what's going on here it's not real products or anything like that now I haven't done anything else to this other than install WooCommerce and import my demo content. And so what I'm going to show you is we basically want to use the method that is highlighted in this article. And so we basically going to install WooCommerce, which we've already done. And then we are going to set up our payment gateway using WooCommerce that we want to use or yeah, so so basically, maybe just to take one step back here. This method allows you to use a payment gateway of your choice that is probably not supported by us. Uh, so sorry, if I click on this one or if I highlight this over here, you'll see we have PayPal, Stripe, Authorize.net, Braintree, to checkout, Cybersource, and we've even got some documentation to add a new gateway that is great but it is a bit technical to get working correctly so if you don't want to go this route but you want to use a payment gateway that we don't currently support then this work around as we've dubbed it over here is a possible solution for you so like i said a little bit earlier just a bit of an overview we're going to install woocommerce we're going to set up our payment gateway that we want to be using on our site. We're going to install our WooCommerce PM Pro integration. And then we're basically going to sell a membership level as a membership product. And we're going to do this within the WooCommerce integration. And I'll show you that in a minute. And then we're going to basically let WooCommerce handle the checkout process instead of Paid Memberships Pro. So what that means is, instead of us going to, let me open this up in a new tab, for example. So I already have an account, but say if I didn't, let me go to our levels over here. It would help if I spelled it correctly. So if I go over here to our levels, page and I already have this level but say if I select this professional level you'll see that I am pointed to the paid memberships pro checkout page which I can choose my payment gateway and I can enter my card number and then actually perform a checkout so we are actually going to skip this step because we are going to use the WooCommerce checkout so in this example here, we have Stripe and we have PayPal running. But say if I want to use the Ideal or the Netherlands Ideal payment gateway, then I'm going to use WooCommerce to process the payment and not Paid Memberships Pro because obviously in this case, we're limited to Stripe and PayPal and we can't use the Ideal payment gateway. Great. So I hope that clears it up. If it doesn't, let us know and, you know, let me know down in the comment section of this blog post or the YouTube video that you're watching. And then let's see if we can straighten it out for you. Cool. So what we're going to do over here first is we're going to head over to our WordPress dashboard. 
and we are going to set up our payment gateway. So I haven't done that yet. So let's go to our WooCommerce dashboard. So from here, let's go to our settings. Okay, so if I go to the payments tab, you'll see that I've got direct bank transfer, check payments, cash on delivery, PayPal, etc. So I need to actually install the payment gateway integration that I want for my site. So let us go to plugins and add new. So because I am South African and I am relatively familiar with the PayFast integration or the payment gateway, I'm going to use the PayFast WooCommerce. Here we go. So I'm going to use the WooCommerce PayFast gateway integration. And so I'm just going to click install now. And so if you want to use something like the ideal or the Netherlands ideal payment gateway, you would come here to your add plugin section and you would basically search the plugin and install and activate it. Great. So I've got my WooCommerce PayFast gateway set up over here and I think I can go over here to settings and you see it's taken me within the WooCommerce dashboard to settings and to the payment tab. So PayFast requires a pass phrase to work. Choose the South African rands as your store currency. Okay, so I've set mine to US dollars. So let's go for South African rand. Okay, country. Okay, I hope it's still picking up that I am in reading, but let's change that to South African Rand. Okay, so let's go back to our payments and I want to go to pay fast and I want to go set up. Okay, so over here I have my payment gateway settings pay fast and I'm just going to enable this and I have found under the sorry over here the pay fast WooCommerce integration documentation that there is some sandbox credentials that I can use in order just to test my payment gateway so I'm just going to copy this over and that was the merchant ID so again this is just sandbox it doesn't matter if I use it or test with it I no one is going to be able to actually process a payment with us so just keep that in mind this is not sensitive information and as you can see i've got the it's enabled and i've got the pay for sandbox mode set up there it looks like our settings have been saved so let's go over to our store and let us perform a checkout so i'm going to add this to the cart i'm going to view the cart um, let's change this to one update and proceed to checkout and okay so it looks like PayFast is over there I've just entered in some dummy information over here let's place our order and we are now being redirected to the PayFast sandbox page and then I can actually go ahead and complete my payment Great, so that seems to be working. I'll just complete the payment for interest sake. So now that's done and it should redirect me back to my site where checkout was done. So it looks like my South African PayFast payment gateway is working. So that is all fine. Now, how exactly do we go about setting up Paid Memberships Pro to, to sell membership levels as WooCommerce products. So the first thing we need to do is we need to head over to our membership dashboard and we're going to go add-ons. So all I've done was I command F on my Mac just to do a search for the Paid Memberships Pro WooCommerce add-on and that again is found under my memberships add-ons and I'm just going to activate my plugin. Great. And now once that is done, let us go to my membership dashboard. 
and I just want to show you here real quick that I have my level set up. So I've got a free trial, I've got an enhanced, and I've got a professional. Um, let us maybe use the enhanced. And first off the bat that I wanted to show you once you go to edit settings, and this is not really part of this WooCommerce sell memberships with your payment gateway of choice method, but it's something nice to know about that once you install the WooCommerce integration add-on, you'll see that it's a section sets up, um, gets installed under your membership settings where you can actually set the membership discount. So this allows you to set a membership percentage discount that people will have or members will have if they view your store. So for example, if I have something selling for $100, then this is going to give this member 50% off that product or all products. So that is over there. We're not going to worry too much with that. Instead, we're going to go over to our products and we are going to add a new product. And this is under the WooCommerce product section. So over here, you can see we still have the WooCommerce, the normal WooCommerce product attributes and variables that we can play around with over here. But once the PM Pro WooCommerce integration is installed, you'll notice the membership tab is now available. So over here, you can give customers a membership level and the membership product, and we can actually go ahead and choose a product. So here you have membership product. So once this product is purchased, then we will assign the enhanced membership to this person. So let's go ahead and do that. And again, this section that I'm about to show you is not part of the, a, a part of this specific method, but with the WooCommerce into PM Pro integration, there's a bunch of things that you can do. And one of those things is you can actually set specific pricing. If you are a free trial user member, you can get a certain price, let's say $10 for this product. For example, if you're an enhanced member, we can maybe make it 50 or we should actually flip this around. So we should actually say 100. 50 and if you're a professional you can get it for ten dollars so you can actually give different discounted pricing depending on the level that people have but we are not doing that we are only worried about giving a membership product enhanced to this person so i'm gonna label this in enhanced membership and then i'm gonna type here this is a WooCommerce product. If purchased, you will get an enhanced membership level. Great. And I can probably just add a product image and I am going to add, let's Let's use our logo just for interest sake. And let's go ahead and I'm going to put it under uncategorized and publish it. Great. So let us go to our store one more time. And here we have, and you know what? I should probably have set up the price just a little bit over here so people can actually buy that. So let me just edit this product for a second and I'm going to sell this at 25 Rand because I believe that it was 25 Rand per month for this product. So I'm going to sell it for 25 Rand and something that I would like to get out of the way early right now is that when you are using this method, you won't be able to set up recurring payments unless you use the WooCommerce subscriptions add-on. Now, this is one drawback to using this method. And the reason being is that in order to use or purchase 
something from WooCommerce on a recurring basis, you need to use the WooCommerce subscriptions add-on and you can purchase this directly from them if you need and as you can see here you can actually go ahead and make that purchase if needed what we would recommend is instead of selling this for $25 you could sell it for maybe let's say $200 for the year okay so let's go ahead and update that so the price is a little bit more hefty but you they will people will pay for it right up front so as you can see over there I can add this to my cart great I can view my cart perfect I'm gonna to proceed to checkout and I'm already logged in as Travis and I have a free membership level already so let's see if I go ahead and place my order it takes me to pay fast I complete payment and this might again be different depending on the payment gateway that you are using this whole process okay so as we can see I've made the purchase of my enhanced membership and let me go and take a quick look at my profile so I'll go edit my profile great and here is my profile and now if we scroll down you'll notice that I have the current level as enhanced so that is set up correctly great so that is about everything you need to know about running this WooCommerce integration I will say one thing that you might need to keep your eye on and that is depending on your payment gateway and especially if you are running a sandbox mode you might not see the payment be processed or your site might not actually verify that a payment has been processed correctly and it won't assign the level but in real life it should actually do that so don't worry about that if that is something and again what I will say is if you want recurring payments then you'll need to use the WooCommerce subscription add-on in addition to this method and as you can see here this gives you the features of subscribing for a certain amount and then you can set your frequency every second month or 30 days or whatever the case may be um, this can be a bit expensive if you just want this specific feature um, and this is really a solution that is necessary only if you are unable to use one of our payment gateways for the most part we ourselves we use stripe and PayPal in conjunction together and we find that these two are the best all-around payment gateways to use on our site and we highly recommend them so if you can I'd suggest trying to have a look if you can rather use one of these two they are really solid and they really work well and then you also don't have to go ahead and jump through all of these hoops of using WooCommerce and a WooCommerce integration and a separate payment gateway but in many cases I do understand that you might need to do that so if you do then this is the solution for you I hope you found this tutorial helpful and thank you very much for watching bye